Welcome everyone. My name is Kazem. In today's session, we'll explore how observability has become the cornerstone of modern system reliability. As our system has grown complex and distributed, the ability to understand what's happening inside them is not just nice to have, it's mission critical. Today, we'll journey from understanding what observability truly means to implementing it effectively in our organization. Let's start with the reality we're operating in. Today's systems are enormously complex. A single user request might traverse dozens of services, multiple data center, and various cloud providers. We are generating massive amount of data. But paradoxically, we often have less visibility into what's actually happening. Users expect near-perfect av availability. And when things go wrong, every minute of downtime can cost thousands or millions of dollars. This complexity is exactly why observability has become so crucial. Observability goes far beyond traditional monitoring. While monitoring tells you when something is broken, observability tells you why it is broken and helps you understand the context. They think of it as a difference between a smoke alarm and a security camera. The smoke alarm tells you there is a problem, whereas your security camera shows you exactly what's happening. The three pillars work together. Metrics give you high-level view. Log provides you detailed context. The traces show you the complete journey of a request through your system. This side illustrates the fundamental shift we are seeing in industry. Traditional monitoring was about the problems. You set up alerts for things you expect to go wrong. But in modern distributed system, the problem you encounter are often ones you never anticipated. Observability enables you to explore your data dynamically, asking questions you did not know you needed to ask. It shifts the focus from system health to user experience and from reactive firefighting to proactive op optimization. Let's talk about numbers. As that matters more to business leader, unplanned downtime is extremely expensive and observability directly impacts your bottom line by reducing both the frequency and the duration of outage. Organization implementing comprehensive observability see drastic improvement in the ability to deploy faster and more reliably. But beyond the technical metrics, they are real business benefits. Happier customer, more productive engineering team, and better resource utilization. This isn't just a technical initiative, it's a business enabler. Let's dive deeper into each key component. Metrics gives you the quantitative data, response time, error rate, throughput. But they need to be both technical and business focused. Structure logging is crucial because it makes your log searchable and correlatable across services. Distributed tracing is perhaps the most complex but valuable component. It shows you the complete path of a request through your system, helping you identify the bottlenecks and understand dependencies. Each component is powerful alone. The magic happens when they all work together. Implementation should be systematic and phase. Don't try to boil the ocean. Start with the fundamentals. In phase one, focus on getting consistent high quality data. Clean up your logging, establish baseline metrics, and ensure you can detect when things go wrong. Phase two is when you start connecting the dots with tracing and building comprehensive dashboard. Phase three, is when you move from reactive to predictive, using advanced analytics to prevent problems before they impact user. Each phase builds on the previous one and delivers value independently. The tool landscape is rich and diverse. Enterprise solution offer comprehensive platform with excellent user experience and support, but they come with significant cost. Open source solutions provide flexibility and cost control, but require more investment in setup and maintenance. Open telemetry is particularly important as it provides vendor neutral, in, in, vendor neutral instrumentation, meaning you can change tool without re-instrumenting your application. The key is choosing tool that fit your organization scales, budget, and technical capabilities. Let's take an uh, example of a real uh, world case study, Netflix provides an excellent example of observability at massive scale. With 200 million subscribers expecting seamless streaming experience, they can't afford system failure. The approach combines custom-built tools with innovative practices like chaos engineering. 
they use observability not just for problem direction detection but for productive optimization the results speak for themselves the dramatic improvement in reliability while simultaneously reducing cost this shows how observability becomes a competitive advantage at a cost let's be honest about the challenges you'll face data overwhelm is real you can easily end up with terabytes of data but still lack the insights you need the key is being strategic about what you collect and how you analyze it tools sprawl in another common issue where team ends up with the dozens of monitoring tool and don't talk to each other culture resistance is often the biggest challenge people are comfortable with the current tools and processes start with pilot projects show clear value and invest in training finally cost can escalate quickly so have a clear strategy for data management from the beginning success in observability requires both technical and organizational excellence on the technical side observability should built in from the beginning not bolted on later focus on metrics that actually matters to user not just system health automation is crucial you can't scale manual process in complex environment make sure your tools are designed for human use with clear actionable alerts and intuitive dashboard organizationally observability works best when it breaks down silos between development operation and business team continuous learning through blameless postmortem is essential finally measure and communicate the business value of your observability investment looking ahead observability is becoming increasingly intelligent ai and machine learning are transforming how we analyze system behavior moving from rule based alerting to intelligent pattern recognition we are seeing a shift towards predictive analytics that can prevent problem before they impact user mobile first approach are becoming essential as teams need access to critical information anywhere and any time edge computing is creating new challenges and opportunities for observability we are also seeing interesting trend like integrating observability with security monitoring and even sustainability tracking as organization want to understand the environment impact of their system let's make this actionable start with an honest assessment of where you are today what monitoring do you have what are the biggest pain points your team face define clear success metrics so you can measure progress in your in your first month focus on the fundamental clean cons- consistent logging and basic metrics don't try to implement everything at once in months in a month 2 and 3 start connecting the dots with tracing and building dashboard that provide real value to your teams remember there is a ongoing journey not a destination plan for regular reviews and continuous improve, improvement to secure buy in and measure success you need clear roi metrics calculate the cost of downtime for your organization and measure how observability reduces your mttr which is your mean time to recover track developer productive improvement when engineers spend less time debugging and more time building feature that's real value don't forget infrastructure optimization savings from better resource utilization the sample calculation shows typical result many orgs see 200 to 400% roi in the first year that key is tracking this metric consistently and communicating the value to stakeholders let's wrap up with a key takeaways observability is not optional in today comp- today's complex system it's a competitive necessity start with solid fundamental and evolve systematically rather than trying to implement everything at once always connect your technical investment to business value and user experience remember that successful observability requires both the right technology and organizational change I've included some excellent resources for future learning. Now let's open it up for questions and discussion. What challenges are you facing in your org? What aspects of your observability would you like to explore further? Please let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching.